Noah's Bed by Liss and Jim Copplestone. Eber helped Grandpa Noah and Grandma Nora to build a huge ark to keep their family and a pair of every kind of animal safe when the big flood came. At bedtime, Eber asked Noah, If I'm afraid when the storm comes, can I climb into your bed? Only if you don't wriggle about, replied the weary man. The rain fell, the water rose, the ark rocked like a giant cradle and lulled Eber and all the animals to sleep. Good night, every two, Noah whispered. All was calm inside the ark, but outside the storm was gathering. Wild winds stirred among the clouds. The birds of paradise woke up in a terrible flap. A bright forked tongue of lightning flickered. The scaly green iguanas woke up and shivered with fear. The wind howled around the ark and woke the lions. They twitched in alarm from their neat whiskers to their straggly tail tips. Thunder stampeded across the sky. Even the hefty elephants were frightened by that fearful earful. A gigantic crack of thunder made Eber sit up. In a flash, he was creeping through the dark ark to his grandparents' bed. Cuddle me up, Grandpa. I'm scared, the little boy mumbled into Noah's huge beard. All right, but remember, no wriggling, whispered Noah. Eber and his grandparents snuggled down to sleep again, and all was peaceful aboard the ark. But then... Something tickled Noah's nose. Off, he grumbled. Your hair is tickly, Eber. Please stop fidgeting and go to sleep. But then... Something scratched Nora's leg. Ah, she squawked. I must cut your toenails, Eber. Do try to keep still, dear. But then... A terrible snorry nose noise was keeping Noah awake. Here's my handkerchief, Eber. Blow your snuffly nose and be quiet, he growled. But then... Noah and Nora were suddenly very chilly. Brr, shivered Nora. Do you have to take up so much of the quilt, Eber? But for poor Noah, it was the last straw. Right, that's enough, Eber. Back to your own bed you go. He struck a match and lit the lamp. And there in the bed were... Two tickly birds of paradise, two scratchy green iguanas, two snorry-nosed lions, two hefty elephants, and Eber, who was fast asleep. The End